Hello, I'm Lou, and it's time for another Creature Feature. Hello, um, it's time for another Creature Feature, obviously. Uh, I've changed the overlay thing a little bit, so it's not quite so busy. It's still busy, but I couldn't let all the little creatures go. Maybe eventually we'll just gradually cut back all of the creatures and we'll just be left with what we had originally. But hey, here we go. So today I'm going to be talking about the Devil's Coach Horse Beetle. Before I do, how awesome is that name? I mean, that's one of the coolest names I've read for a beetle so far. If you can think of a cooler name for a beetle, let me know in the comments below. So just like last time, I'm going to put the video on the screen and then my little head's going to appear on this side, I think, this side, somewhere. Uh, okay, so let's do this. I found some five really interesting facts about this little beetle and I can't wait to show you the video, which is mainly just pictures of it because Canva didn't have many videos of the Devil's Coach Horse Beetle for some reason. Why? It's like the coolest beetle ever. Maybe not. It's one of the coolest beetles ever. You'll see, it does look really cool. Just get on with it, Lou. Stop talking. <laughs> so yes, let's get on to these five fun facts. There it is. See, at the moment it looks quite normal. You're just like, hey, that's just a little beetle. But yeah, you'll see soon. So, fun fact number one, it comes out at night, -ah 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 -ah, as you might expect from a beetle called the Devil's Coach Horse Beetle. Look, look at it there, look at it there, look how cool. Anyway, so yes, it's nocturnal and it does its hunting at night um, and during the day it just kind of rests and does its thing, you know, it just chills, but at night is when it goes out and gets its food. Fun fact number two. Its larvae is carnivorous, so like there's no like munching on plants for this guy straight in with the meat. And so are the adults, obviously. Fun fact number three, as you saw in one of the pictures earlier, it does a great scorpion impression, which is when that little thing at the back kind of comes up over its head. And what it's doing there is when it's feeling threatened, it squirts out this um, stinky fluid out of its abdomen. So kind of like how we learned the um, green stink bug did when it's threatened, it just does that nasty smell thing. Yeah, it, this is what the Devil's Coach Horse Beetle does as well. But not only does it make a nasty smell and tries to put off its predator that way, but it looks like a scorpion and scorpions are pretty scary looking, aren't they? So yeah, what a great job. Just realized my video has stopped, so we'll play it again. Um, yes, so fun fact number four. It's part of the rove beetle family. Um, and the reason why this is interesting is because in this beetle family, there are 46,000 species. And that's just in one family of beetles. That's, that's insane like how many beetles are there on this planet or how many species of beetles in the, are there on this planet i wouldn't like to think how many beetles there are because how would you count that that's just maths my brain cannot do so yes it's it has a huge family like you can only imagine like what christmas card list would be, be like for rove beetles just ridiculous <laughs> what am i talking about fun fact number five so, as we have seen, it has pincers, and the the um, Devil's Coach Horse Beetle uses those pincers to crush the, its prey. Like we said earlier, that is carnivorous, so it grabs other invertebrates and stuff and just goes yum 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 yum. Now, it does look scary, doesn't it? Look at it there. It looks pretty threatening. It looks like it could take you in a fight, and that. Yeah, it does. I can see why people might be scared of them, but they're not really dangerous to humans. I mean, the, for one thing, they are tiny. And for another, although they can bite, and they do bite if like they're threatened and you pick them up and you mess with them, it it will hurt a bit, but it, it won't kill you. You'll be fine. But you know, just leave them alone. Let them do their thing. They, they have 
very important beetle business to be getting on with, like pretending to be scorpions or green stink bugs or something. <laughs> like, just let, let them do their thing. That's all you've got to do. So there we have it. Those are my five fun facts about the Devil's Coach Horse Beetle. Um, it's very weird doing it like this because I get distracted, but I like it. I like having this me being on the screen while I'm doing the voiceover. It's quite fun. So have I covered all of the fun facts about the Devil's Coach Horse Beetle that you know? Can you think of any others? Let me know in the comments below. Um, do you think this is a cool beetle or is there a cooler beetle? Let me know. And I don't mean the Beatles, like the band. <laughs> I mean, these guys. Um, so yeah, if you can think of something else that I should cover, I will do. I do have a list of Beatles that I do want to get to, including one of my favourites, which is the Stag Beetle. But that's for another video. That's for another day. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you can think of anyone else who might like to join in, share this video with us. Share this video with us. Share this video with them. Don't share it with me. I know it's here. I'm, I'm in it. I'm here now. So yes, um, yeah, and leave your comments down below if you want to talk about this beetle or any of the creatures that we feature on this channel. Please do so. So thank you and have a lovely day. Bye.